My critics have said, oh, there she goes again, Senator Landrieu just running off on her own, making all sorts of terrible things and making the state of Louisiana look bad. I've spent 30 years of my life trying to represent the people of my state and make them look good. Even when they were wrong, I've defended them. And when they were right, I praised them. And when I was wrong, I apologized. And when I was right, I was very proud of my work. Never, never in my life have I ever or will ever throw the people of my state under a bus to save my reputation or my job. I know what I am inside. I don't need anyone to remind me of the goodness that I have inside. My parents do that, my husband does that, my children do that for me every day. And I don't most certainly need anyone, and I don't need this job badly enough. Maybe some people do, I don't, to throw the people of my state under a bus to protect myself politically. I want to show everyone a letter on May 4th. This was made public. Actually, some members put out their own press releases. And the letter basically says to Secretary Sebelius, who was finally sworn in after being held up for months when she finally got in office, we write you today to follow up on an April 9th letter your office received from Louisiana Secretary Alan Levine. That's our secretary. While many states will face challenges to their Medicaid program in the coming years, we believe that Louisiana's case is unique. We believe Louisiana's case is unique. As you may be aware, our state is still rebuilding from Hurricanes Katrina and Rita in 2005, as well as Hurricanes Gustav and Ike in 2008, including the rehabilitation of the healthcare system in New the New Orleans area. These extensive recovery efforts have inflated Louisiana's per capita income, but we were only but they were only temporary and do not actually reflect the increases due to incomes and industry not related to the hurricane recovery. Since the FMAP formula per capita to calculate how much each state will receive, we are greatly concerned that the post hurricane per capita income increase would significantly impact our FMAP allocation. We ask that you meet with Secretary Levine to develop a solution to the new, unique problem that our state is facing. This is an example of one letter, I have many others, signed by our entire delegation, asking the officials up here, from the White House, to Kathleen Sebelius, to other powerful members up here to please look at Louisiana's situation because ours alone among the 50 states was unique and I'll explain why in a minute. So the fact that this was secret is a lie. The fact that it wasn't supported by our delegation is a lie. I'm gonna be on this floor until six o'clock today. I'm not leaving. And if any senator from the Democratic side or the Republican side wants to debate me on any aspect of this, I would kindly ask them to let's get this over with today. So I will look forward to seeing them. I will be here until six o'clock. And if they don't come, then I would hope that they would keep their mouths shut about something they know nothing about. 